So this is Soul and Cancer. This is uh, going to be your general forecast for the week of October 24th through the 30th, 2016. Uh, and also these messages coming forth will be for Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising. So if you know your uh, moon and rising signs, I would advise you to look at the other videos that I am posting up for this upcoming week. There may be uh, messages in there for you as well. Anyway, we're going to start off the energy for some cancers this upcoming week. It seems like it's going to be a pretty good week uh, for uh, us cancers for the most part. So let's see how things play out. And hopefully um, we do receive some sort of uh, good news or something good happening to us this upcoming week. We're going to start off with the sun, Major Arcana major life event in the reverse now even though this sun is showing up in the reverse is still good energy uh and there's some powerful messages that are coming through so for for the most part some of us are going to enjoy some sort of uh you know minimum happiness success and joy uh when the sun shows up in the upright position that's completely feeling uh successful joyful happy some, you know, oftentimes childlike in terms of your behavior, not immature, but just feeling childlike, like you're still um, living in your childhood and experiencing those things uh, only in a good way. Uh, but in the uh, reverse, you still are going to feel those things, but it's just going to be minimized. So it all depends on how things play out for you. Uh, this upcoming week the sun showing up in the reverse is also uh, a message for me to put out there that for some cancers from the past there's a completion of some sort of medical issues this also could be extended out to just you know routine doctor's visits you know we're moving into uh cold and flu season here so it could just be something as simple as receiving a flu shot okay also i get um chemo radiation x-rays you know um exposure to those uh those uh, elements and also um could be cat scans mris uh, some sort of ending or completion. Uh, someone has gotten with this sun showing up as your starting energy and I'm picking up from the past, possibly a clean bill of health. And this card is also related to, uh, you know, children uh, possibly having uh, medical appointments and um, hospital uh, visitations. Everything is uh, from what I'm seeing and feeling is okay and it has turned out well, uh, which is good. So you're still going to be um, achieving some sort of minimum happiness, joy, and success. And ironically, cancer has, um, because I did an overview before I hit the record button, you have three major arcana. So this is some very powerful energy coming in. And these, outside of the sun being in the reverse, the other two major arcanas that I have selected for you are in the upright, which is real good. Uh, so, but there's a, the emperor, which is a major arcana, major uh, life event. So I just feel with the emperor uh, showing up, some of us may have um, some sort of uh, court cases or uh, something to do with, uh, you know, authority figures. The emperor represents uh, Aries, but it could be other fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Could be that you're in a relationship with these uh, energies. Um, but also it just is an indication that going into the week, this card is about control and order. And, and some cancers are in control and order of their lives. And also to be the only is not really a negative, but I'm just going to say that there may be exposure to having to go to court or uh, be um, coming across in terms of paths with. Uh, law enforcement so if we have any cancers that like to speed please do not speed because you know you may receive a damn speeding ticket then there's a um now this could be the parent of a cancer person that i'm reading for or two that is they may be a fire sign and they're coming across as being very authoritative uh, and then this, they have this thing where they want control and uh, power, uh, possibly over you and the things that you're doing in your life. OK, but if that's the case and what I'm picking up, um, they're not going to change who they are. But then you have to if you are dealing with this energy in this situation, uh, you have to live your life according to how you see fit, not how someone else sees fit. 
I just feel that there's somebody going on. If it's not a father figure, it could be someone that you're close to who comes across as trying to be a father to you or a brother um, or else because the energy is representative of males. It could be a female, too. So, you know, don't be strong armed by anyone uh, who is trying to tell you how you should be living your life. Live your life according to how you see fit, uh, because we are all here on our own paths. OK. <clears throat> so the next card up, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this emperor card It's really good energy. Um, the next one up is the star card. So this is one of the best cards that you can get outside of the moon. I'm, I'm sorry. I said the moon is the sun outside of the sun. Uh, the star card is um, whatever it is that you wish for, hope for, you know, it will be granted. So that's very good uh, energy. Also, this is an indication of um, for this upcoming week. I don't know why it's so special that there could be a lot of Internet stuff going on. So there's uh, social media connections are just reaching out. Also, the star represents for those cancers who may be uh, doing online dating. You know, um, that's one of the messages that is coming through. And if the cancers that I'm reading for are doing online dating, this might be a positive week for you in terms of connecting with someone new. The only thing that I have to say, I don't really talk about online dating. I just get that feel and that energy when certain cards show up that you just have to be careful. You know, uh, it's a screening process, so, but you have to make sure because there's a lot of you know, people who are players and, you know, they, they create these fake ass profiles and stuff only to lure you in and then you get trapped. So just be careful and cancer with your strong intuition. You should know. OK, right off the bat and immediately if something is not right, go with your gut uh, instincts. They are always correct. All right. I just see good stuff coming in with the, uh, the star outside of that message. If you are online dating, just use your discretion use your discretion okay and then the star card represents i i feel aquarius so if you're online dating it may be you know that you connect with an aquarian or you know aquarian male aquarian female or any other air sign gemini libra male or female um but i just see an increase of social media um going on and i don't know if that has anything to do with the upcoming elections in the states uh, but there's a lot of activity involved with social media if it is use it to your advantage whatever that is to you all right the last card that i have for you friday going into uh, the weekend now the four of cups shows up but i don't always see the four of cups when it shows up in the reverse as a negative it could be that you know some of us receive our you know Good news during the week or I just feel good overall about something good happening to us. And then it brings up those emotions, uh, the emotions coupled with tears, you know, but it's tears of joy. Hence the sun in the reverse where I said that you will uh, some of you will be experiencing minimum joy, you know, success and happiness. So something may come or happen that brings this energy and Friday going into the weekend. And that's a good closeout of the week for us cancers that something good happens also this could be um for those cancers that i'm reading for who have children who are water signs uh cancer scorpio or pisces male or female now they may be a little bit emotional and upset but it's just if it's children then it could be that you know they're going through some sort of growing pains or something like that and i wouldn't worry about it too much it's just the way um it is and basically it's just life there is that other emphasis too that for some cancers it could be that there's a emotional disappointment when it comes to a relationship but i'm not feeling really uh, heavily to speak on that because i feel this this four of cups is showing up in the reverse that's connected to the star and to the sun that something occurs this upcoming week for some cancers that brings on some sort of emotional happiness and joy. And then the reason why the cups, the four of cups is in the reverse is because there's tears coming through but tears of joy and happiness, not tears of sadness or being despondent. OK, so I like that. And hopefully, 
hopefully that we uh, get to encounter uh, this upcoming energy because we have very positive three major arcanas and a three card spread that's very powerful energy and i just like i said before not to sound redundant that the four of cups in the reverse going into friday and into the weekend is it's got to be attached or related to the other cards that are showing up that are so positive okay all right cancer that's your reading and what i have selected for you um to accompany <laughs> excuse me and preparing uh, prepare myself to read this uh i am balanced okay so i am balanced says uh negative thoughts and self-criticism are diminishing your sense of uh, worth and as such you do not see the beautiful and unique qualities you possess at the core of your being you hold endless love and creative possibility love and creativity are your true nature the things you don't like about yourself believe to be bad or ashamed of or as good and valuable as the things you do like about yourself. Everything in our world consists of complementary opposites, yin and yang, or positive and negative charges are a necessary part of life and exist in everyone and everything. Without this, nothing in our world would exist. OK, so basically, this is just a snippet of a message that accompanies this card that I have drawn for you, Cancer. So it's a beautiful message, I feel, and it compliments your reading very well. Anyway, so hopefully, let's get this energy uh, coming towards us. Uh, we need some positive things to happen uh, for us right now, okay? All right, Cancer, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. I do appreciate you all. Uh, also, I appreciate, not appreciate, but I do want to wish you all a very safe, upcoming week ahead and until the next time cancer i wish you all love and light take care bye